you know, your company's been through a few different uh, technology transformations quite successfully. Um, I guess you're sort of going through another one right now. What's the focus on today at Sonus? We started you know, leading the transition from TDM to VoIP, um, then pivoted to Pure IP, and now we're very much focused on you know, leading our customers and, and new customers into the cloud uh, with virtualization, the move to hosted services, and moving, moving services which were typically on-premise, off-premise to the cloud. Um, it's, um, it saves companies a lot of money, reduces kind of the, the overhead of owning those apps or, or maintaining all the infrastructure to run those apps on the prem. Once those applications leave the safety of, of your, your company, they're now kind of out in the wild, in the cloud. Um, they're more susceptible to security issues. And also, there's a new delivery model. Um, instead of delivering services within your corporate VPN, they're now being delivered from a cloud outside of your business down to your, your, you know, your properties, if right. you will. And now you have to be very aware of quality of service, resiliency, um, expect and plan for things to break. What do you tell your customers is really unique about what you can do for them in terms of solving their problems? We've been managing and delivering one of the most demanding applications on the network, which is real time. As we start to move to virtualization, you know, voice really now becomes just another app in the cloud. It's no longer running in a walled garden network and segmented off just like video isn't anymore. So for us, it's, we come from a point of credibility where it's an adjacent move to right. now say, all right, now that there's a flattening of the network, the apps have want, wants and needs of the network, SDN is now going to enable the network to become programmable. Right. Um, Sonus is in an ideal position to be that clutch in the middle to bridge the gap between the wants and needs of the network and the transport layer to make sure that those wants and needs can be realized. Once you have a product like our NASIQ SDN product in your network, it's pretty much controlling all of the flows and the policy on the network. It's like a network operating system, if you will. What NASIQ does is it derives and understands the network topology. It understands the interconnects in the network, how to get from A to B, the multiple ways to get from A to B, and the capacities of those pipes and interconnects. And it does this in real time. It's constantly probing the network and understanding if a new switch or router shows up um, or a port gets turned down or gets turned up. So it has this view of the network. And once you know what's happening on your network and you have policy that dictates what can get on, what can get off, how much of A versus B versus C I'll allow and route through my network, you can now run your networks a lot hotter. You can mm -hmm. utilize your infrastructure more because you understand exactly what's happening on it once you have that fine-grained visibility. Do you find your customers asking you not just how to reduce uh, CapEx and OpEx, but also how to make money <coughs> from new services? Do they seek your advice around that? Absolutely. I think that's, that's one of the unique approaches um, that we're taking, um, especially with S SDN. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can look at it and say, okay, I want to do existing things in a new way, or I want to use a new piece of technology to do new things in a network. Mm -hmm. right? And we, we tend to land more on the latter side of that. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, a good example is um, Telstra, who we've engaged with and deployed with, uh, where we were able to help them build a network as a service model where they took all of their, basically took their network provisioning and put it in the hands of their end customer, where now their customers can go into a portal provision connectivity, provision the, the SLA that they want, provision the bandwidth that they want, get quoted a price, click, and that's realized in software right away. Now the efficiency is that that happens in minutes instead of weeks, and you don't need a, you know, well, a big group of people behind it to make it happen, yeah. but pop it up a level, we just created an entirely new business model uh, for Telstra and, then, and the way that they engage with their customer. I mean, you had a, a big success story with State Street Bank uh, where they reduced their total cost of ownership really substantially. Can you talk about that? Where was the value for, for that particular financial institution? They, they were able to cap their MPLS investment and use standard internet connections um, between their WAN, you know, geographically dispersed, um, using our NASIQ technology to basically program paths over standard internet, manage right. paths and force paths and force costs and force bandwidth limits on standard internet and cap their MPLS investment, and then also run their networks a lot hotter because NASIQ was controlling and they had very fine policy on everything that's on the network. So there was nothing that was unknown 
or or would be admitted into the network that that wasn't previously planned for. So they ran it yeah. without buying an, another router or switch yeah. in the network. I mean, it's a great story, and obviously, you know, it is a financial institution. So you were able to assuage their security <laughs> concerns as well. Absolutely, uh, and that's that's one of the unique aspects of our NAS IQ implementation. We go down into the network, or we are the network, if you will, and we program the network to enforce the basically the paths that have been created or the rules that have been created. The same actions Very that cool. assure quality end to end inherently assure security in your network. And probably even more importantly, there's a whole new class of customers, web scale type co um, companies that want to do real time in their apps to add value right. to their apps. Right. And the only way to engage with those companies is with software. We started our move three years ago, and, and where we stand today is we now have um, basically all of our products fully virtualized, cloud ready, um, that sit, you know, a companion wow. you know, product portfolio to our hardware offer. Wow. And we've done it in kind of a clever way in that we've kept the apps or the, the, all of the user interfaces the same so that our customers can migrate if they're current customers from hardware to software or run in hard, um, hybrid environments with a minimal investment. And because how many of the functions are actually converted to VNFs now? So we have virtual session border controller, we have virtual policy, we have virtual diameter, we have virtual um, element management, and we have virtual analytics, hmm. and our um, NAS IQ product is also virtualized. So pretty much... How, how many people do you think know that? Because I didn't know that, and that's very impressive, you know, so... I don't know. Hopefully you can well, uh, help more, spread the more word. Than, more than <laughs> did before we shot this video. Exactly. Wow, you've been really busy. So, you know, yeah. congratulations. I appreciate it. I think, you know, I think a lot of people think of Sonus as a, as a classic voice over IP, class 4 switching company, but we've so. put a lot of time and energy into transforming the company. You know, thank you very much for taking it through me, Kevin. And, you know, congratulations, we'll, we'll be watching closely. Great, thank Thanks. you. Good to see you.